I like turned to backwalk, but I like moved a lot in the opposite direction for some reason. It's like the spot on my glasses that's distracting me. Blame it on the spot. <laughs> hey, Lisa, thanks for the 82 months of... So normally when I slash this sign for the blue ruby, it lags quite a bit. But Torja found that if you pause here, late in the crawl space after the room loads, it kills the lag from the sign. As opposed to crawling, uh, pausing before the room loads. Very strange. Salt split. Dang. I rolled too late. Thank you. 
Good skull to the Community Patrol, thanks for good luck. If not for the vine text at the beginning, this would have been sick. So I read online yesterday that somebody already got an advanced copy of Tears of the Kingdom. So I I like unsubscribed from Tears of the Kingdom subreddit. I'm trying to be really careful that I don't encounter like leaked clips or something. It's getting around that time where you know, the last two weeks before a game, shit's bound to come out. Oh, excuse me. Are there parts where you're at risk of accidentally performing a glitch? Um, yeah, but it doesn't really matter. Like, 99% of the time, if an, a glitch accidentally happens to you, it's gonna be detrimental. And we don't care about that as far as the rules are concerned. Like, if, if a glitch happens and it doesn't help your run, then it's fine. What's up, Banjo? Thanks for good luck, and thank you for the 11 month sub. Appreciate it, dude. What's up, Cosney? Thank you. Like, one, one spot where it's really easy to do a glitch is um, in Water Temple. Not in this run, but in other glitchless runs. This run doesn't go to Water Temple. But in Water Temple, there's this spot where... You know the room where there's the, the red and blue crystal switch in the center? 
uh, and the dragon head statues that go up and down to raise the water level, it's right before Dark Link. Um, there's the spot where if you're standing near one of those uh, dragon head statues and a Tektite hits you, you'll clip out of bounds. And that just, it's just bad. Like, you don't want to be out of bounds there. Because you have to, like, swim back in, climb back up onto one of the platforms, and basically start the room over. Or, uh, what's another one? When you're fighting the Gerudo guards in the hideout, um, the strat is usually to lure them into a corner so they can't escape and just stab them. And they drop a small key. And so if you stab right when the small key drops, the collecting the small key will interrupt your stab and you'll get ISG. But the enemy has already died, and the ISG doesn't do anything. Like, it's just inconsequential, so also something that doesn't matter. Now, sometimes, every once in a while, you might see a player, like, accidentally do a glitch on purpose because of, like, muscle memory from glitched runs, and that would count against them if there isn't a way to, like, immediately reverse what they've done. Hello, Lubla. <laughs> Why are we coughing? Oh. Yeah, I mean, I've definitely done it. <laughs> As has other people. Have other people? Pretty much just that. Pants, everyone understands that power crouch stabbing is not meant to be in the game. Um... You know, especially because of the fact that it was patched out of later versions of Majora's Mask. But, like, the only way to ban a power crouch stab is to ban stabbing entirely, right? There's no such thing as a stab which is normal. So, between banning an attack that doesn't work the way they intended, or just using the attack. Like, it's best to just treat it as a game feature. It's kind of the only thing like that, where, like, it's so fundamentally tied to something so basic as literally just swinging your sword that, like, you can't ban that, you know? Hey, Moose. Thanks for good luck. Yeah, you could ban stabbing against enemies, but that's also silly, because stabbing is a useful mechanic even outside of its damage properties. You know? So yeah, we could definitely ban it if we really wanted to, but no one wants to. <laughs> it would just make the run less fun. Yes, OMS Task 8 results are tomorrow at noon. 
Same time as always. Sketchy. Could be a shakeup? What do you mean? Do you predict someone unexpected to win? See what you mean. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be speedrunning Tears of the Kingdom. It really depends on what sorts of tech gets found. I will probably try it, but the way I like to enjoy casual games is like trying to find fun ways to break it. So you can, you better believe that like, while I'm playing Tears of the Kingdom casually, I'm gonna be looking for ways to cheese stuff. <laughs> Which I think is a really fun way to play because it also lends itself well to understanding the game in a deep way. What's up, Rego? Thanks for good luck. Oh boy. I don't know what's happening, but I guess we're back walking like this now. I hope my hand doesn't twitch. This is fucking weird! I'm surprised I actually got the analog stick angle to make this work. Flying Machine was very funny. If we find any other good memes in Tears of the Kingdom, I'll definitely run them. But it seems like Flying Machines are just part of the game now, <laughs> so... I, I feel like it will be hard to find mechanics that break the sandbox too much because it's such a sandbox. Get out of my way. 
Ah! My god, so scary. Banjo, it's hard to say. I think it's definitely fun. I think they'll inevitably alienate some older Zelda fans, though, that enjoy the more standard format. Can't please everybody. And given the success of Breath of the Wild, I think it would be silly to expect Nintendo to do anything else but lean into its successes. I mean, you know, I love the older format of Zelda games, but I also love survival games. I love games with interesting crafting and building. So, you know, putting the Zelda flavor on that is super cool to me. Not a Zelda fan, just an OOT fan. That's interesting. Because I feel like there are plenty of other games in the series that sort of embody what OOT does. Well, it's a little bit... It's a little bit hard to talk about the first three, you know, they were trying to find their identity back then. Not quite so anymore. They have an established identity and they're intentionally departing from it. Rather than, you know, like, testing the waters to see what works and what doesn't. Hey, Torch, thanks. Four for four in my last attempts. All right, I gotta turn and look at it, get it on screen. Nice. 
Yeah, definitely loop them. Though, the Breath of the Wild developers have now been developing essentially the same game for a decade, so I imagine they can't wait to be fucking done with it. Get in there. Caught by guards, but we'll continue. It's a long run and I got a lot of time saved. Yeah, it would be neat to see what they do with 2D Zelda now that the concept of Zelda has been upended so much. I imagine the next 2D Zelda would be extremely reminiscent of Zelda 1. Since Zelda 1 inspired a lot of Breath of the Wild. What's up, Andy? Thanks for good luck. Yeah, I don't know, it's a good question. 2D Zelda has been kind of dead for a while. A Link Between Worlds, was that the last one? Just like 10 years ago? I feel like Zelda has become so grand that confining it to 2D feels hard at this point, you know? Oh. 
Does Triforce Heroes count, though? Does that count as a Zelda game? It counts as much as, like, Hyrule Warriors does, which, in my opinion, is not much. Link's crossbow training. <laughs> What's up, Sebi? down to try it. Mario games are there? Hundreds. I wonder if that's even an exaggeration. Are there over a hundred video games that include Mario? Probably, right? Target the guy in my hands. Almost 300? Is that... Is that a real number, or...? of video games featuring Mario. Thanks, Wikipedia. To the rescue. Hey, Owl. Thanks for good luck. How long is the list? Thank you. 
370! Holy shit, dude. That's nuts. The controller overlay? Uh, it's Nintendo Spy, but the skin I made myself. If you DM me on Discord, I can send it to you. Slingshot and choose. Yeah, this is how I suck people into my scam. I make an irresistible overlay, wait for them to inevitably DM me about it. And then I hack your life and steal your identity. The whole streamer shtick is just a front for that. this game you should play it again or even better you should speed run it you missed me you miss me. This guy sucks. What's up, Richard? Thanks for good luck.
Oh, what? Rudo, your ass is supposed to kill that thing. It might have been gold if she'd done her job. Yeah, PB is the last line on the splits where it says Ganon. I think this is a gold split? Mm, actually, maybe not. I had to do an extra pause for the nuts. And I also hesitated a little bit before the blue switch. Yeah, maybe not. I had remembered to equip Decanuts the first time. That would have been a gold. Hey, consultant. You trying to run all dungeons no SRM on N64? Well, good. That's the fastest way to do that. Uh, that was not the correct equip. Dude, my equips suck in this route. I gotta fix them. Wasting time.
eternal struggle between wanting to be good and not wanting to practice. I understand all too well. Yeah, practice is easiest when it's literally required for you to even complete the thing you want to complete. But then once you have the ability to complete it, even if it's not up to par with what you want, practice immediately becomes more of a chore because you don't need it. If you just spammed runs all the time, you would get better. Why not just do that? I understand. Cycle, dude. The worst. Yeah, the camera out of the Navi text is really killer for that trick. Sending me at a slightly leftward angle out of that cost me the frames I needed. I raided a runner last stream who didn't use the Decanon in that room. I should look into it. I was gonna fail that for sure. Bad angle for the jump. Uh, 
there was a vote on whether or not to allow the chains trick to enter castle at night, where you keep the chains cold. And that allows us to get around some significant time of the day issues in the old route. Yeah, Jabu before DC is a consequence of that. Uh, we have Bomb Trees from Spirit Temple. We do Deku, then Child Spirit, then Jabu, then DC. Yeah, there's no such thing as unrestricted anymore, though. This is, it's just called any percent. And what was formerly restricted is now known as all main quests. This is not a very good child one. Made some significant mistakes. I lost 20 seconds here. I lost like 40 seconds at guards. Uh, but, you know. It's good enough to continue for sure. Alright, so the route's gonna sync up pretty soon. That Master Sword, we will know how far ahead or behind I am. I think I'll be ahead, but just not by much. didn't get trolled. That's okay, there's still Skull Altalos to send me to my doom. Good babe. 
right. Turn right, turn right, turn right. Yeah! Let's go. Okay, so in my PB, I have a decent Shadow and Spirit and Forest Temple, and then I lost like a minute at Ganondorf. Hey, Eric, thanks for good luck. Hope you're doing well. Dude, that stinks, I'm sorry. Hopefully things lighten up at some point. It's mostly the same as the other route, um, except there was a vote to allow a trick where you, um, trust this guy. There was a vote to allow a trick where you can enter castle at night with the drawbridge up by keeping the chains off camera when they go up. Um, so that's allowed now, and it allowed us to solve a time of day issue that was present in the previous route, where we went out of our way to do something slow just because there was no other way to deal with the time of day issue and get to castle where we wanted. Ooh, excuse me. Why does it save time? So, we do Decatry first, right? And then we need explosives. So we go to Spirit Temple right after that. And when you leave Spirit Temple, you get Requiem, which is also something we need. And the Requiem cutscene sets the time of day to dusk. Uh, and then the only way out of the Spirit area is to save warp back to Kokiri Forest, where it is now almost nighttime, and you don't have enough time to make it to the castle before night. However, we need Zelda's Lullaby. Uh, and there's only two more dungeons to do. Jabu and Dodongo's Cavern. And both of those have a cutscene at the end where you get a spiritual stone, and it sets the time of day to noon. And from both Death Mountain Trail and Zora's Fountain, there is not enough time to make it to Zelda before nighttime again. So where, when do you get Zelda's Lullaby is the question, right? We could do it immediately after Decatree, however, then you have to get the egg and wake up Talon in order to move the boxes, which is something we want to avoid because it's slow. Uh, so getting Bomb Chews first allows us a damage boost to the crawl space so we can skip the egg. Um, so essentially... Doing Zelda's Lullaby right after the spirit segment and using the change trick to get into castle 
puts us in a spot where we can do it where it's most optimal to. Whereas previously, because we couldn't, what we were doing is we were like, okay, well, it's about to be nighttime and we can't make it to the castle. So let's go spend that nighttime doing something. But we can't do an entire dungeon of Jabu and DC because that sets it to noon and we won't be able to do uh, Zelda's Lullaby again. So what we did was the overworld segment before Jabu where we go up Zora's River, we get Silver Scale, we get Rudo's Letter, and then right when we get Rudo's Letter, it turns morning. And we're in Lake Hylia. So we take the owl from Lake Hylia to the castle and then get to the castle right at morning. So that's what we used to do. Split up the Zora segment into two. One early, just to pass some time of day, so we can make, get a good time to get into castle before we do either of the remaining dungeons. And then one late for the dungeon itself. But that's slow. And so this new route allows us to prevent us from doing the Zora segment in two trips. Yeah, we need Zelda's Lullaby for magic, and also for the boat in Shadow Temple. Hey, Yamba Logic. damage boosts that would be useful that are barely not possible. Let me think about that. I don't know. I can't think of any off the top of my head. Um... Yeah, I can't think of any. Yeah, task 9 is the one that's active right now, and it'll be active for one more week. Tomorrow, I'm gonna uh, show off the results for task 8. And then, in a week from now, I'll be revealing task 10. The final one. Yeah, this is what Unrestricted used to be. It's now called Glitchless Any Percent. Um, previously, Restricted and Unrestricted were both Any Percent categories in that, you know, they allowed different techniques, but neither of them had any goal other than just to beat the game. But now this category is the only one like that, where the goal is just to beat the game. And it doesn't matter how much you do, because on the Restricted side of things, even with the more restrictive rule set, we still started finding new ways to skip stuff, and people didn't really like that. Because the folks on the restricted side of the aisle wanted the run to stay more or less the same and have like a certain baseline of content that is always present. And so it was clear that any percent wasn't a good label for that category anymore. So it got renamed to Glitchless All Main Quests and it was reworked to have the same list of bands, but now there was also more goals besides just beating the game. You have to beat all the dungeons, you have to beat all the mini bosses, do stuff like that, so that even if we find stuff that's powerful that fits into the rule set, you can't use it to skip huge parts of the game because the whole point of the category is to play most of the game. It's like in between any percent and 100 percent. So, both categories are more honest about 
what they represent at this point, which is good. This is the, doesn't matter what you skip, truly just do glitchless stuff and get to the end category. And the other one is do glitchless stuff, but you have to complete most of what you're meant to complete. And it's good that both exist. <laughs> Is he gonna side hop? He's getting kind of far. Danny! Danny! You're forgetting- You have to side hop! Dude! <laughs> I've done it before. I've gotten all the way up to the backward side hop in a door of time skip before, before I realized what I was doing. I think it was after I had spent, like, half a year playing all dungeons, and then I came back to Glitchless. It's always fun when that happens. One time, Alaris was playing OT Glitchless, and uh, he was heading out to Ice Cavern. And King Zora is up there, frozen, and shifted to the side, because, you know, he did Child Jabu and everything. And he still went to go clip through the acute corner <laughs> to get out to Fountain as adult. <laughs> and then halfway through the out-of-bound swim, he realizes and comes and swims back to the bottom. It's funny when people forget what category they're playing right in the middle of it. Yeah, the, the thing that set off the change for Restricted to no longer be in any percent base category was um, we found a way to do Gerudo Gate Skip without a damage boost and without going out of bounds. And so it would have changed the route quite a bit. And there was really no way to ban the tech that powered it in good faith besides literally just being like, I don't like this! because of what it accomplishes, but the actual technique involved was, like, completely unarguable. So, it forced everybody to rethink, like, okay, this is not an any percent category. Uh, it's on my, it's on my YouTube channel, uh, if you want to try to find it, but it's, um, Gerudo Gate Skip with Gainer, or Untargeted Sidehop, or something, I don't know, Bomb Push and Gainer. It wasn't that long ago. Maybe, like, less than a year. You should try to find it. Basically, like, you know how when you target a wall midair, you, like, your momentum goes forward into the wall? Kind of like how uh, in Water Temple, right after you lower the water for the first time, right above Rudo, you side hop into the hole and you target the wall in the, in the hole to land on the platform with the bomb wall for the early key. That kind of thing. Um, so what we were doing was, you get up on top of the tower in Garuda Fortress, you put a couple bombs right in front of the ladder, you get to the right of the ladder facing the desert, and then you side hop to the left, and mid side hop the bombs not the explosions, but the bo the body of the bombs themselves pushes you backwards out over the ladder. And so now you're side hopping perfectly straight, flush to the wall, but beyond the fence to the left. And right before you leave the wall in front of you, you target that wall and it sends you forward and you can make it over the gate that way. Such a cool trick, and it's a really huge shame that it's not useful literally anywhere. 
Because it's so fucking cool, and it's so easy. Especially funny, given how difficult the damage boost was. How, like, how legendarily difficult that damage boost was. Like, 14 frame-perfect inputs in a span of, like, one second. It was so stupid, and we did it for, like, years. And we had this available to us the whole time, but we just weren't clever enough to think of it. But now Out of Bounds is allowed, so... Obsoletes them both. Time for some Shadow Temple. Is this a gold for some reason? How did I gold buy so much? Hey, turtle. Yeah, it is easy, Aru. I was even able to do it unbuffered, which is laughable compared to like the 11 pauses that I would need to do the other one perfectly. Terrible spawn. <laughs> 
No, Yamalanja, you don't. You only get points for the 400 point items if it's the first time that item is entering your inventory. If it gives you the icon in your pause menu where it has never been there before. Dodge them drops, that's right. If you get a nut drop before you arrive at the dick and nut chest you plan to get, you will be out 400 points. That's three in a row, first try. Nice. Slightly new movement here that saves like a quarter second. Right after this chest. Let's see if I can get it. Nice. Very good. No! Fuck! The camera got me, dude. That was a shame. What's up, Adri? Thanks for good luck.
Yeah, deduce is the right word. Deduct means to, like, subtract, take away. What do you mean new paste though? Like thermal paste for your computer? Missed like a whole half a conversation. <laughs> My bad. Shadow Temple will do that to you. Intended way. Love me some intended way. Just like this. It wouldn't open from the side, and for a quick second there, I was like, did I get the boss key? Stab. Thanks, Kev.
Yo, I don't remember when the last time I took notes for a video game was, but I can tell you when the next time I'm gonna take notes for a video game is. Uh, five days after Tears of the Kingdom comes out, or six days, on May 18th, the studio who made Myst and all of the Myst games, Cyan, coming back with a brand new Myst-like game called Firmament, which I backed on Kickstarter about six years ago, or five years ago, or something. Uh, and it's coming out right after Tears of the Kingdom. So I'm gonna have to play a shitload of Tears of the Kingdom in the first five days so I can play this game right after. No, Tears of the Kingdom comes out in less than two weeks, Kev. We got 13 days. 12 and a half, if you want to be like... 12 and a quarter, even. I'm counting down the seconds right now. Uh, specific reason we collect heart containers? No specific reason, um, more so that there's just a lot of intentional damage in this category because damage boosts is one of the most powerful techniques we have available. Uh, and constantly going out of our way to get more individual recovery hearts is often slower than just refilling with a heart container at the end of a dungeon. Could do this whole run with three hearts, nothing's stopping me, but... It would be slower, just because I would have to be super careful all the time and go out of my way to get hearts. You dislike the art style of Breath of the Wild. That's interesting. I think you're the first person that I've ever heard say they don't like the way it looks. Because I, I personally think that, you know, they have their strengths and weaknesses, but they're fucking beautiful, in my opinion. Twilight Princess was a little too muddy. Skyward Sword, a little bit too bright and pastel-y. I, I wasn't a huge fan of like the painting style of Skyward Sword, but Breath of the Wild, I think, is just like, it's that perfect balance. I don't know why I did that. I exploded that a long time ago. One thing I, I really didn't like about uh, Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword art styles is the intentionally, like, ugly-looking NPCs, you know? Like, very strange-looking people. Weirdly proportioned and just overall weird. Where did I lose 14 seconds on that split? What? Actually though, I'm so confused. How did I lose 14 seconds there? Did I make a mistake that I'm forgetting? Am 
My god. Did I save it? That would be sick. I have a Gway right ahead of me, right above me. Oh shit! Yo, game's fighting back, dude. Yeah, that that Wii U Zelda demo was weird. Like, what were they what were they going for with that? Because they clearly like never did anything even remotely resembling that afterwards. Were they just messing around? Like, it was just to generate hype for the Wii U. This was slow as balls, but whatever. How many bombs do I need remaining in the run? I think I don't have enough. Where am I gonna get more? Armos, I guess, right here? I really hope I got a bomb drop, dude. I never have to farm these guys, but this run sucks. Just give me one. Literally just one. Oh, thank god. Dude, I got a Wii U, and then basically never used it. I'm pretty sure I actually posted a picture on Twitter, like, two years ago, of my Wii U, and it's the most disgusting fucking dust-covered relic that exists in my home. Thank you. 
straight over. Why 9,000 points? Yeah, pretty much. I started with the name and the concept, and then I tuned what the treasure chests were supposed to be worth to make a- to strike it being a good balance to reach 9,000. track thanks for good luck what's new in the route uh the change trick to get into castle at night is now allowed and it allowed us to rearrange some stuff in child section to be faster The trick with the, the drawbridge chains, do we? Hey, Link, thanks for the raid, dude. Welcome, how was your stream? Is she gonna shoot? Oh! It's usually called Schrodinger's Chains, do we? It's the one where you just look away from it as it goes up at night, and then you get onto the bottom edge of it, and it snaps you up. Thank <laughs> you. 
I think I just read a headline today that Mario movie got a billion, you know. Not surprising. I still haven't seen it, though. Wait, really, Torsion? No, it doesn't happen for me. Does it happen if I... Oops. I accidentally just pinned a message. I just pinned gotcha. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, that's pretty much what anybody expected, Jordy. Makes sense. Temple time. My best possible time is still 210. Jeez. 210 is like actually viable with this run right now. to do that. I was supposed to kill you fast. Okay. Tank! 
Oh shit, I thought I lost it. Get in there. I think that count is good. Permanent, yeah, that's the right. By Cyan. I'm gonna be streaming that game plenty after Tears of the Kingdom. his downstairs friend. Oh, dang, Yamalaja. Any idea why that happened? Just Ganon's castle to go. There is a lot of time still to be saved. Not as magical as in your childhood. That makes sense. It's sad though. Lathira? This run is only okay, but it's an okay run on a new route that saves a lot of time, and so I'm very far ahead. So I'll take it. Dude, I hope I can squeeze out the 210. That would be sick. I did see that, Torza, yeah. It looks extremely easy. The fact that you can just hold up after Gim, that's so nice, dude. The get item camera never varies. That's lucky.
Yeah, this setup works like basically anywhere that also gives you the chess minute, right? Oh, 2.6 is free, yeah. You don't have to like sit there and stare at it and be like, Am I, is it isn't the right spot? I started using the uh, the sword equip thing to get rid of the lag. Victory Forest, super nice. Made me realize that it's probably worth it for any percent. Even though we usually equip sword in the maze to slash the bush for the 50-50 rupee, it's probably better to kill the lag and hope for better rupees out there. Because you slash like a few bushes over there. So if you could kill all that lag while you slash those bushes, that would be amazing. What's up, Chef? Thanks for good luck. I picked up an extra bomb drop from the Armos the Spear Temple, so I'm pretty safe on that. Which means it's not really anything scary in terms of like, if I fail this I can't continue the run. But I mean who knows, maybe I'll fail trial skip five times in a row. But I really want to try to squeeze out this 210, I think it would be sick. Nuts. Which is exactly what I need. I gotta make sure not to accidentally press C right. All 
Alrighty. Here we go, the final stretch. Hold down for this part. Hope this works. Alright, good. Not the worst fight ever. Alright, here's to not dying to double knuckles. How about that? Even though I'm a one hit kill. Desync, that's okay. Yeah, what happened in my PB was that I failed the one cycle on Ganondorf, and then he just kept pounding the ground, like, over and over again. I think it happened four times in a row, and I fell down on the last one because I was just, like, so frazzled. It was like a wacky ass scenario. I think it was like a one in a thousand chance for him to pound that many times in a row or something stupid. Lag on Stalfos? I don't know how to like predict whether or not it's gonna happen. It's it is intermittent. Surely a pause will fix it. Honestly, I don't doubt now that pausing at some opportune time is the reason why sometimes it lags so much and sometimes it doesn't. Yo, not only do does the organ go away, but this whole, like, staircase goes away. Like, how did you get rid of that, Ganondorf? Oh boy. Good. That is a fat fucking time save. Yeah, I don't know why Ganondorf has a mullet, but let me tell you, Ganondorf in Tears of the Kingdom is looking fucking nice, 
I can't wait to see that guy on screen. I hope he's present in the story, dude. I hope he's like an active malicious force in the story and not just like flashbacks. Because that was something Breath of the Wild was really missing, was like an engaged villain, you know? Oh, I forget I said anything, Rap. Ganondorf's not in Tears of the Kingdom. It's, uh... I don't know. Dark Link. Dark Link is the bad guy. I won't say anything more. I apologize. It's hard to know what's common knowledge and what isn't. Okay, so you didn't learn anything new. That's good. I feel less bad now. Yes, I will stop at that. I will stop at Ganondorf being hot. <laughs> Why does my game look so good? Because I'm playing on uh, an HD modded Wii, and I'm also upscaling it and capturing it with a 4K capture card. Nice fight, dude. Uh, I didn't do the mod. I bought it from somebody who did, so I couldn't tell you. I don't know if the hardware it still exists for it, unfortunately. But um, it's called a Wii Duel, D-U-A-L. If you want to like try to search for them on eBay or something. Oh, is there a new one? Is it good? Yeah, I don't know a whole lot about Tears of the Kingdom. I know that there's been, like, there was uh, some game previews. Like, some people, like Zeltic and other content creators and some news outlets got to play, like, a curated section of the game at special events that Nintendo was hosting last week. And so a bunch of videos came out. Uh, I watched one of them that somebody told me wasn't super spoiler-heavy and only had information that I already knew. Uh, some cool stuff in there, but I'm trying to avoid anything else from here on out, especially because I heard that a copy of the game leaked yesterday. So there may be people like literally playing the game now on the internet. So I don't want to know anything more than what I know. The only stuff I know mostly is stuff that was in the trailers and the gameplay demo from Anuma. 
I was in the Tears of the Kingdom subreddit, but after I heard that the game leaked, I left. Because I don't want to see stuff by accident. I can't believe it's less than two weeks away, though. It's nuts. Dude, there's been a Tears of the Kingdom subreddit for a while now, and it has 110,000 subscribers. <laughs> it's fucking huge. Main time save was a new route, actually, Tracer. And the route saves only a little bit more than how much I'm ahead right now. So this this PB, if it finishes at this pace, will be about the same level of skill as my old PB, just taking advantage of all of the time save from the new route. Oh no! No sword! Really nice cannon fight. When did I go to Fire Temple, Torja? <laughs> I have literally no other weapons. Nuts is the best way. Otherwise, I gotta snipe him with arrows or hookshot. So it's 10 hits either way. Yo! A 21039. That's looking real nice. I, uh, I'm very happy that I already made most of the time save of the new route. Yo, Stavros, thanks for the 100 bits, dude. So, I'm also really happy that I got this before Tears of the Kingdom consumes all of my time of playing video games. Uh, but I still have a few more streams before the Tears of the Kingdom stream, so I'm gonna spend those few streams Seeing if I can't get this to the legendary 209. And that's that's like my final goal for this category. If I can save 40 more seconds, then I'll be good. I'll be happy. But this is a great first step with the new route. This run was pretty okay. Uh, I lost some significant time after Shadow Medallion. The whole spirit segment lost like 30 seconds. I lost like 20 seconds into Dongo's Cavern. I lost like 40 seconds to getting caught by guards at the beginning. This run, not getting caught by guards, is the 209. So it shouldn't be too hard to get. 